What is up everyone? My name is Jack Southall and um, yeah, I wanted to get my thoughts on this. Um, I was going to talk about it in my raw review, but I thought this guy deserves his, sep his own separate video. And of course I'm talking about Daniel Bryan. Uh, a few hours ago it was announced that he is forced to retire, um, probably by medical reasons, I'm guessing. I know he's been saying um, for a while that he's really wanted to come back. And, and we all have wanted him to come back. We all love Daniel Bryan, man. But um, it's been told that he's forced to retire, and um, I'm hoping deep down inside WWE just pulls some sick like swerve and say, "Oh, Daniel Bryan's all right. He's gonna return at WrestleMania." But I don't know, man. This I think he's gone. I think he's gone for good, and it fucking sucks, dude. Daniel Bryan has been one of my favorite wrestlers to watch in the last few years. I remember watching him debut on NXT when he wrestled Chris Jericho in his very first match. And then I found out, I believe later on, about his whole um, career in Ring of Honor and just the fantastic matches he was having down there. And um, because WWE did build up, he had a like a decade long thing in the independent scene. And that's where he grew his fan base and all that. Like many other wrestlers, before and after him, guys like CM Punk and Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, you know, all these other guys, like, and now they're coming up and doing the same thing Daniel Bryan was doing, and just having this massive following on the independent scene, and now they're finally getting their name said on uh, WWE. So, I think Daniel Bryan was one of the, I don't know if he was one of the pioneers of um, indie guys finally getting their work in WWE, but he was definitely one of the first I remember to get up. I know it's been happening for ages, but in this modern trend for WWE, he's one of the very first guys who was a huge name on the independent scene that I personally remember getting his uh, name called up. So, um, I remember seeing him live at the 2013 WWE event in Brisbane. It was him and Kane taking on The Shield. And, um, yeah, I remember I was going crazy for him. That was when he was super, super popular. That was at his hot streak. And um, just to see him there, he kicked ass. He was friggin' awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm just so glad that I was able to see Daniel Bryan while he was around and to see him in his six-year career, you know. And it just fucking sucks that a guy like Daniel Bryan, a guy that we all love and we have all backed and supported and when he finally got his moment at Wrestlemania we all went crazy for it and now we are no longer going to see him wrestle I know we all have that feeling at the back of our heads saying oh man maybe it's all a work and maybe Daniel Bryan's going to return and I really and like I said before I really hope it's a swerve deep down inside but I don't think so, man. I think he's gone. I mean, you know, the doctors have been saying, you know, for months on end that he's they haven't cleared him and they don't want him to return. And I'm guessing this is the result. I think he got, like, a final test last week and they announced that he can't wrestle anymore. So it's kind of like um, Edge when he announced his retirement back in 2011. But, um, yeah, it's terrible to see a guy like Daniel Bryan, a guy that I've have so much love and appreciation for more than a lot of wrestlers going it's very very fucking sad man and it's going to be hard to watch his retirement speech because he's a guy i've gotten so emotionally invested in and i think a lot of us have gotten emotionally invested in daniel bryan um as well i mean the yes chance and just people going fucking crazy for him and i expect to be a massive pop for daniel bryan when he comes out on Raw tonight. So, um, yeah, those are my thoughts on Daniel Bryan's retirement and just a little bit about my history with Daniel Bryan. And, yeah, um, also, before I go, I want to let you know um, I will be doing a Raw review later on today, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I am out in three, two, one.